our sand dunes created. As you can see here, we've got a lovely sand dune. The things we need for, in order for this to happen are a nice wide beach and a really strong prevailing wind blowing sand up the beach, up the coastline. What starts to happen is there will be a piece of driftwood and as wind, as the prevailing wind comes on shore, the sand starts to clump, starts to deposit around this and build up a dune. Alternatively, you can have soft engineering, artificial regeneration of a sand dune where plants, pioneer species are planted and build up as the sand gets deposited. What we start off with is an embryo dune. So that piece of driftwood is underneath there now and the sand forming around it. Over time, this turns into a forging. We start to see our pioneer species again, like lime grass, binding the sand together and building that up. Eventually, we get a yellow dew. We see other species here now, like marron grass, and these three different types of dunes are mobile. They move up and down, depending with the wind. Over time, this dune turns into a grey dune. As you can see here, there's more soil, more vegetation. It's getting greener. It's turning into proper land now. It's less sandy. We also get a dune slack, which is a depression underneath the water table, which fills up. We can get a lake or a pond. Over time, it turns into a mature dune where we have such an increase in vegetation that it no longer resembles a sand dune on the beach.